I know I'm a little bit late to this, but I have an April Fool's story gone wrong today. Now, April Fool's is the day from the second you open your eyes until the second you shut them. You should not believe anything you see here in, uh, in person, online. None of that. Your favorite YouTuber, content creator, celebrity, streamer, whatever, is giggling behind their phones and typing, oh, I'm quitting social media. Another one comes in with, oh, this person has passed away, rest his soul. Your friend comes and confesses he, he has feelings for you. We, we will not know. Everything is left and right. It's the day you cannot trust a single soul on this planet. The ones who love you the most are going to hurt you the most. Now, I also had April Fool's plan. Well, a day or two days before April Fool's, so it will be believable. You gotta be smart about this. So I was gonna come out and be like, my name is Kush now, but before, I was Keisha. I was a female, but I am a transgender now. Bring some fake evidence and show you, but I was like, I'm definitely going to regret that because some of you are gonna believe it and you're not never, you're never gonna let it go. Anyways, for today's story is this two couple where the girl decides to prank the boyfriend and be like, Papa, you will know why I say Papa. Papa, I am pregnant. Now, for context, this girl actually did not sleep with his own father. For those of you who never touched or looked or even talked to a girl before, this is what happens when people, you know, they flirt with each other in a relationship. Maybe one day you'll have the privilege to be in a relationship as well. Don't lose hope. So the conversation starts with good evening, Papa, with a heart eye emoji. And he says, how you doing, mama? Immediately after those first two texts I see from them, I just knew the whole relationship is a big old red flag. Even the name saved as puppy with, um, I hate this emoji. This emoji, in my opinion, is the cringiest thing ever, especially when girls send that. And even if when guys send that, you look like an absolute bitch. This is how I imagine a guy when uh, they send this emoji to me or someone. Ooh, please like me and if you try to spam that emoji in the comments below just keep in mind you will be blocked let's continue she starts the prank with i'm not fine he says you did not see the money i sent you earlier today what else would make you not to be fine now no now so wedding come happen papa talk now now the english left the chat from 8 41 p.m until 8 44 p.m in their conversation in my opinion that's a sugar baby that's a sugar daddy i mean that's one of the reasons they're called puppy but saving their name as just save it as sugar puppy imagine you want to facetime the puppy and you end up calling the wrong puppy while you're doing the wrong thing on the camera and that is going to be hell for you. She sent a pregnancy test that is positive, which also comes with the message of I am pregnant. He replies, four. He's like, I don't get it. I honestly don't get it as well. Pregnant four. She says, who else, my love, puppy? Babe, why are you not replying to my messages? Now, it is very normal for a man in this situation to go quiet and start thinking and having flashbacks in life that why the in hell did I not use protection? He immediately replies, because I'm not the owner of the pregnancy. Go find who got you pregnant, slut. She thought he's going to go like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm going to be a father. You will be a great mother. But bro comes in hot and hits her with a slut. I am not the owner of this pregnancy. Whatever imaginary dick you took in your sleep, that is his baby, not mine. She called him, he did not answer, and she said, pick up your call and repeat this. Say it to my face. She is also very pissed about the situation. It is not a prank anymore. It is a full-on fight. Now, this guy did not back down. He stood his ground. He put his leg down, and he was like, precious, you are, you're a slut. Now, I'm guessing this is her name, precious. So, I'm not mama again, right? My friends warned me about you. That your plan is to ruin my life. But who's then the owner of the pregnancy? Did you go out on dates? Yes or no? Wow, wow. Papi, I, pa Papa, I went home. You're just a slut. L -L -M -A -O. He says, stop calling me O. Make Ogan no kill you, Sha. I really want to know where they're from. I'm From the sound of it, I'm guessing they're African. So it has gotten to this stage now. But me going out with the other guys does not mean I'm sleeping with them now. So then what are you really doing with them? Let's be realistic here. I'm familiar with your game. Just day play. 
you want you want to pin the pregnancy on me, right? That's your end game. H Endon Chatkat. Now, from the sound of it, she's a girl with the history, and the friends know about her history. And unfortunately, these things do happen once they get pregnant from other guy, but the other guy want no part to be in it, so they try to pin it on some other guy. And what happens when the other guy does not want the kid as well? Indu Shakat. She sends a whole ass voice so he does not even listen to <laughs> listen to it. If you would like to do 10 hours voice notes, as I know they can pick your phone call Nayu Sabi. I think the way I said it is racist. But yeah, it was like a long voice note. He doesn't want it. Wallahi, you go explain tire. I just they look you. Just they play. I don't know what else is happening, to be fair. Let me try to do a little bit of girl voice so you know you guys will live inside this story. I really can't believe you're saying this for real. You literally called me a slut. Me, Papa. Who are you? Damn, wow. That's what you are, bitch. What will I tell Mumsy? Okay, this is getting cringe at this point. All right, tell her the truth. The fact that I'm not responsible. Okay, okay, yeah, this is talking about family. And she says, but you are responsible now. You're the last person I had sex with, puppy. I can see where you're heading to. Okay, let's... Oh, yeah, let's do it like this. How much do you want? 500k? Because you're trying to pin the bastard on me. Damn. 1 million? How much... You Bro is throwing money at his problems. Which one do you want? So you leave me the hell alone. I mean... It's a good thing he's at least offering her some money at this point and just not leaving her hanging. My baby hasn't even seen the light of the world and you're already calling my child a bastard. Wow. You even called me a slut. Just wow. Precious, you are a slut. Bro, this is so hectic. After Papa stood his ground and called her a slut multiple times, offered her money to take the child and leave me alone. My friends warned me about you. Secrets were out, arguments were made, fights happened. And finally, she had enough and she thought this is not funny anymore and she dropped the truth. She says, well, it's all a prank. And thus point, I have to end here because I am speechless. You calling me a slut. Chill, your friends warned you about what in particular. I don't get. Let me even send you screenshots of what Kevin said. He'll give me 100k if I should agree to f him. So it turned out Papa's friend, specifically Kelvin, the ones who were saying she's not good for you. They are the ones who wanted to get in her pants, but they couldn't. So she even showed him the screenshot of his friend trying to get in her pants for 100k. I don't know what currency. He goes on, wow, babe, Kelvin said all these things and you couldn't even open up and tell me. This is what we call the power of manipulation and gas lighting now shall call me babe make oga no kill you sha i don't know why i turned african again and also it was even kelvin that told me you you into hookup you are keeping bastard as a friend and at this point i'm done with your ass and just don't text me don't call me oh and to be honest you're a big fool to even think i do hookups you they really amaze me it hasn't even got to this now F off. Mama, my preshi. I'm sorry, babe. It's not what you think now. I just wanted to play along with this whole joke. I knew this was a joke from the beginning. I swear to God, if bro stood his ground, he would still have his dignity and my respect and all of our respects. But bro bitched down and he pretended like this whole thing was... It, he knew it was a joke all along and he just went with it. She says, you must be mad. Make I first block you nonsense. See, I talk be ode now. Ori ebaka bale. I'm guessing that last sentence was I lied when I said your dick was big. And she just ended up just blocking him. So I guess this was a good lesson for Papa. I still don't know his name. To learn what kind of friends to have around. To listen to them or not. Because Kelvin, from the looks of it, his friends just wanted them to break up so they can go and hook up with them. Not only that, they even said they're going to spend money on them. Kelvin honestly was down really really bad obviously this whole situation could have been handled better you know to, are you sure you're pregnant uh should we go get another test should we go see a doctor do we want to keep this child i'm not ready to have a child talk and uh you know talk it through but abandoning both of them at the same time that was just wild <laughs> and just the whole thing ended for no reason at all this was a whole roller coaster just me reading the story i just thought i would share it with you but yeah that was it if you're bored you want to watch more videos click on one of these do take care of yourself and i will see you at the next one